It's been nearly two weeks since Apple made game emulators officially available on the App Store, and there have been some apps that have come and gone, and honestly, most of them have been pretty bad. But this one right here called Delta has been really good so far. Now, this app is made from the same developer that created GBA for iOS, an open source emulator that was available on the App Store for a little bit of time back like a decade ago. GBA for iOS led to Delta, which is the emulator that you see here, and has been available outside of the App Store, but is now officially allowed on the App Store by Apple. Delta is an all-in-one emulator that supports classic systems like NES, Super NES or SNES, N64, Nintendo DS, Game Boy, and Game Boy Advanced. It also works with pretty much any popular game control that you might have, PS5, Xbox, Switch, whatever the case might be, or you can use a Bluetooth keyboard and mouse. It even supports cheats, you can save, you can have backups, syncing, and so much more. There's so many features, it's really, really good. And honestly, it's also really easy to get games loaded up pretty quickly via whatever ROM you might have on your phone. Again, there have been other apps that have been out but quickly pulled either by the developers themselves or by Apple since a few of them were direct ripoffs of the original GBA for iOS app. As far as the gameplay goes, based on some of the other emulators I tried this week, I would tell you that you should probably go and get a controller paired with your phone ASAP because I assumed the on-screen controls were going to be so bad like the rest of them, but they've actually been really good. I know I've been saying that a lot, but this app has been surprisingly very good. The haptic touch that you get with each button press is great. Obviously, multi-touch, which is something you think would be supported on some of the other apps or work really well. Well, actually works really well and you can play the games pretty much as if you were holding a real Game Boy or uh, a real controller in your hand and it just makes things so consistent and easy for you to be able to play these games on your phone. Honestly, I've been playing some of the classics on it and again, everything just works really, really well. I also love some of the bonus features. You can have uh, a button that's held down constantly. You can fast forward through things. Uh, I love that you can change the artwork to make your library clean. The appropriate controllers appear for each corresponding console, but you can also change that if you want to. It's just a lot of fun. Of course, unless you lose a game of Mario Kart 64 in the last like 50 feet of the final lap like I just did. I'm still pretty frustrated about that. It was also really hard to film and play at the same time, so I'm gonna use that as my excuse. Now the fact that this emulator also apparently supports multiplayer is crazy to me, but of course I'm all alone in this studio, so I wasn't really able to test that out, but it seems really cool. I would love to hear from you in the comments down below what you think of the emulator, uh, Apple actually allowing this now, and uh, also just anything that you might have. Maybe there's a game you want me to check out. Let me know in those comments down below.